Hi guys, this is my channel about home brewing. If you are into beer and home brewing, consider becoming a subscriber to learn with me in the adventures of beer. And today we're doing a beer review. This is the Mad Cow Stout. I think it's a home brewing kit. No, I don't think it is. It is a home brewing kit. And this was brewed by Jason Harper. I wish I remembered where Jason Harper was from, but I don't think he mentioned it. Jason Harper, if you're watching, please comment down below where are you from? And maybe we have some other questions as well along the way. So guys, let's get this one into a glass, the Mad Cow Stout. So this is the Mad Cow Stout. It's a home brewing kit. So you'll find some information on it. I have some information. Uh, Jason Harper sent me some information on it. I'm going to give you that. I don't have the full recipe, but I have some brewing notes. So we have the ingredients, but yeah, not like a recipe. So I hope it will stay in the bottle. It's a bottle conditioned beer. Poof! L nice pop there. And it ain't climbing out of the bottle. Okay, this is bottle conditioned. So I'm gonna pour it like slowly, slowly. See if you can get some head on it. Yes. Ooh, looking good. So I'm gonna end it there. Slowly. Don't want to kick up the gist. There's still some in here. Want to add it now. Okay, so the Mad Cow Stout. It's a beautiful looking beer. Not massive amounts of carbonation, nor should it really be with a stout, so I think it's very appropriate. So, what we got here, we have the Mad Cow Stout. It's a really good looking pitch black beer. Not massive amount of carbonation, but it's carbonated alright. Um, nor should a stout be. I tried a Swedish porter once, which was so overcarbed that uh, you couldn't drink it. It was not a homebrew. So, head dying off quite quickly. We have 8.2% ABV, IBUs 31. And this was bottled on 12th of August. Okay. So like Two months in the bottle, a little less. Not super fragrant. It smells kind of sweet, some hints of chocolate. It smells good. Yeah, like a malty sweetness, chocolatey. Maybe some small hints of coffee there, or is it just me looking at a dark beer? Yeah, it smells good. So let's dive in. Cheers, Jason, and of course all you other. Cheers. Hmm. It is a little bit cold. I should have left it a little bit longer out in room temperature. But it's very smooth beer. Good thick mouthfeel. You get some alcohol notes. It's not overpowering, but they are there. It's uh, almost like uh, yeah, those filled uh, chocolates with the one who have uh, spirits in them, liquor, something like that. It's almost like that. 
it has a say alcohol taste to it but it's a nice alcohol taste and there's a chocolate and, and sweetness so it's very much like eating one of those candies don't know if you have a name for it I would call it Tant Godis in Swedish maybe <laughs> You know, this can is, there's like a chocolate shell, hard chocolate shell, which you bite in and they're filled with um, liqueur, something like that. It's just like eating one of those. So it's a very nice brew. If you don't mind the alcohol, and as I said, this is a good alcohol taste in them. So Jason, I think you did a really good job with this one. Let's go through the, uh, not the recipe, but the ingredients as I have them here. I have some bonus information about this beer in here, but first off, I'm gonna go through the uh, ingredients. The grains are Irish pale ale, so black malt, chocolate malt, two different kind of crystal malts and roasted barley. And uh, the hops is Styrian Aurora. And Centennial or if it's Styrian Aurora if there's such a thing because there ain't no comma mark there but they should be Styrian and Aurora and Centennial because I heard of Styrian and I heard of Aurora and I heard of Centennial but not Styrian Aurora if you know something else comment down below so that's really all we get. No, it's uh, also fermented with uh, US05. OG 1078, FG 1015. And hops were added twice. One 60 minute edition and one five minutes. Or maybe it's a third edition as well. I'm just guessing because it's Ain't, this ain't the recipe. They're uh, the ones selling the kit are hiding the recipe. Um, so it's a bit masked. The cool thing is this side note here. The rare breed cattle of Hillstone Farm are fed this premium quality stout to create the fantastic Norn Iron Waggy Beef Wagyu. Beef delicious that is sold in the farm shop. This is 8.2, but the cows actually get a 12% version. So the cows are getting the fine stuff and I'm left with this. No, but this was a beautiful beer. Thank you so much, Jason Harper. The Mad Cow recipe can be bought. I will put a link down below if I find it. I will put text here if I find it, okay? So I will go and look for it for you. So you can order it and brew it, because this is a fantastic beer. I'm thinking to mail... I'm thinking of mailing them and maybe they will send me a kit. <laughs> Listen, I can hope so. I hope, as my channel is getting bigger, that I can get some free stuff. So maybe they will send me one kit to brew up. Please send me free stuff. Sorry. Okay, guys, I think that's it, really. Thanks once again, Jason Harper. Gonna try to get some more out of this bottle. This was a lovely brew. And uh, yeah, a kit is a kit, but uh, when it really comes down to it, it's all in the brewer and how you handle the yeast. The yeast really makes the beer. So great work, Jason, with brewing the beer. So, guys. Thanks for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. And if you want even more content and recipes, there's my Patreon page to check out and the back catalog of all of my videos. So, cheers and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.